This is going to be a fusing video for the fireworks I'm going to try out. The fuse that I'm going to be using is this Canon fuse that burns at 24 seconds a foot. And then this fast fuse, it burns at 2.5 to 5 seconds a foot. I'm just going to start off at the simplest one and then go from there. This is that old shotgun that I made. I've got it zip tied to hold it, the candles in there. And then I'm just going to be putting a small fuse to connect these two together. And then with this one, this is that that shotgun that I made that I welded together and I just got it zip tied and then I'm going to be fusing those two ends together and there's multiple different ways that you can fuse these together some people use some sort of tape to connect them together I've seen some people use hot glue. I don't know how I feel about the hot glue. I know it's probably not hot enough to actually light the fuse, but just anything hot around this, I kind of tend to stay away from. Uh, so I just use, I just use zip ties. It's what I've used ever since my second year of fusing things together. And it's worked out perfectly fine. Pretty simple concept. I'm just going to take this little short piece of fuse that I cut, attach it to the Roman candle fuse with the zip tie, and then I'm going to attach another zip tie to this one, connecting it to the single fuse. So I just gotta light it once, and it lights them both. Fairly simple, and now I'm just gonna clip these ends off. And ideally, I like to have two zip ties at every connection. So every time the original fuse, the main fuse, is touching a new piece of fuse for a firework, I like to put two zip ties to hold that connection firm. Might not be necessary, but just a little extra. Doesn't hurt. And I like the zip ties because it gets a real snug fit. And it's a little bit offset. This one's going to light before this one, but I think that'll be a fine effect. There you go. It's pretty much the same process for the whole entire setup here. There's the the end result. So I just gotta light this piece and the whole thing will go. And it's a lot easier when they give you a lot of fuse to work with coming out of the actual firework. So that'll that'll be way easier to fuse this one. I like it when you can get all three with one connection. Maybe not all three, but just multiple junctions, however many you have. And this one, all I need two zip ties.
And then that should have the, the same effect because both of those are touching this main piece. So they'll be, should be both lit off this single lighting of that main fuse. Yeah, just like that. I'm not gonna bore you guys with watching me fuse it in real time. So I'll just use a time lapse, but I will show you guys the different designs. Here's the, the claws. So just hold it on your hand. It's got four candles on it. And then I put zip ties to give it pressure so they're at an angle and they're secure in here and they're not gonna move anywhere. And then to fuse this one, I'm just going to fuse these two together, coming that way, fuse these two coming together that way, and then use this fuse to connect them. So they should all light at the same time. Uh, minigun, pretty simple, paint it purple, but pretty simple. I'm just going to fuse all those together in a circular motion. And that way you just have to light it once and it lights all, I think, 10 of these. This little candle holder that I made a couple years back. I just got a zip tie holding pressure. You could also use tape, like some duct tape. That's what I, I thought about after the fact. But I'm just gonna fuse those together. So you just got light once and you're done. Then I got this big pack that I put together. It's a uh, 18 Roman candles, duct taped. Well, I fit them in the, this minigun at first and then I duct taped them so they would hold the square shape, square shape, square shape. Got the back done just so that I can make multiple of these and just slide them in when I'm ready to shoot them. But same thing, just gonna fuse kind of in an S pattern, but fuse them all together. And we got the drill attachment. Just gonna fuse all those ends together. Got it held together, the pressure held together with a zip tie. Again, could have used duct tape, but this is what I'm gonna use for now. Last one is this Roman candle thing that goes on your hand. You just hold it with one hand and you get the fire 10. 10 Roman candles. Just gonna fuse it with a piece like that, a piece like that, and then use a little tiny cannon fuse to connect them in the middle. And then I got these smoke bombs. I'm gonna fuse together for Smokey the Turtle. And then I'll probably end up putting some sort of fast fuse on it out of the hole of the turtle, maybe. Just so it catches fire a lot easier because I don't know that the Roman candle balls are gonna be able to catch this. But we'll see. But I'm just gonna fuse them. Fuse the smoke bombs along the length of this cannon fuse. So when it does catch, it'll light off all six.
All right, now that the demonstration video is all done, I'll give my opinion on all this stuff. Shotguns, they're all right. They're nothing like too extravagant, but they, they work. They're a little bit of fun. This little kind of representing like claws or whatever on your hand. That's a, I, I like that. It, it just feels cool. Um, these two things, obviously, from the video, you can tell. This one especially. They're a little bit sketchy. Well, this one's super sketchy. Just because I didn't take into account that when the Roman candles go off, they have a little bit of a pushback on them. So the, the zip tie method that I was using wasn't enough to, to hold them from being pushed back. And my brother-in-law said it'd probably be a good idea to either glue them or maybe even use duct tape next time to hold them just so they don't slide so much. Um, this little rocket launcher gun for the smaller rockets worked perfectly fine. I like it a lot. This is probably the safest rocket launcher for the biggest, for the bigger ones, just because your hand's all the way down there. I like that one a lot. Uh, this one, it was probably because I was holding it weird, but the angle didn't really come out right holding it from the hip. Uh, I'm, I still like it though, it's, it's not a big deal to me. This one, I was starting off using this paintball mask that I had for, uh, as a kid. And that was probably the best bet to use it for this one, being shoulder fired just because I switched over the second time and just used the glasses. And it ended up, I think I got like sparks in my hair a little bit. Nothing too, nothing too crazy, nothing too bad. But with this, I actually, it was popping all over the place. And I think I actually got like a, a little burn mark on my nose, but I was wearing glasses so it didn't get my eyes or nothing. Um, this one right here, it's fun. It's a little bit, it's a little bit awkward to hold, but it, you can put a lot in there. And I actually got two of these, so you can actually hold two at the same time when it comes time to do it. Uh, this one, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to hold it. A lot of fun. It's it's got so much movement on it that you can really do whatever you want with it, and. Like I said, because it's so easy to load, it, it makes it a lot more simpler. This one, uh, again, a lot of fun. You can put a lot of a lot of candles in here, so it, it definitely bumps up the effect a lot. And because you can just tilt it and dump the, the Roman candles out, it makes it like really quick change. Smoking the Turtle, kind of a disappointment. Uh, I mean, something to shoot at, it's fine. But as far as, I'd have to come up with something different as far as lighting the smoke bombs or anything. Just because I one went in there and it didn't even light anything. And I'm sure they were hitting the, the fuse that I had dangling out, but they weren't doing anything as well. So yeah, that's kind of a disappointment. But other than that, I had a lot of fun trying this stuff out.